Yo, what is going on guys? It is Tyler here, back with another YouTube video. Now in today's video guys, what I'm going to be showing you how to do is how to double edit faster on controller Fortnite. Let's get into the video. Also guys, before this video starts, just go on ahead and slide over to the item shop and use code MENGAMER102 in the item shop. Now I'm going to hop into creative and I'm going to show you guys how to do it. Alright guys, so the first thing you guys need to do, if you haven't done already, is change your edit binds to double edit binds. Now this is huge. I know most people, or not most people, but a lot of people use edit binds that are just like a single edit for your build. You guys aren't going to want to do that. You guys are going to want to have one button as a confirm and one as an edit. So I'm going to show you what mine is. I'm going to head over to settings right here. And if we go to controls and edit, I use, um, here it's going to show over here. I use L3 as my edit. And if we go over here, I use R1 as select, R2 as reset, and L1 as to confirm. So, this is actually huge because it's a lot easier to um, edit with two different binds than one. I know it sounds crazy, but trust me, if you switch to it, you'll definitely notice the difference. So, one mistake that I see when a lot of people double edit is they don't roll their fingers over their binds. I'll show you what it means in a second, but here i'll try not to in a second and it'll cause me to slow down a lot like if i try to do it all at once like there see i get stuck so that's what happens when i try to do it all at once i'll put up a hand cam in a second to show you guys what it looks like when, by rolling your fingers because this will help you double edit a lot faster than you were before all right so this is what i mean by rolling your fingers so say i go to place a triangle like this you're gonna want to go like that Sorry if my camera's a little bit shaky. This table is not good that I have it on. So you just go like this, and then this. This, and then this. And then you just do it like really fast. Like that. And just keep going like this. Oh, I just screwed up. Yeah, but that's literally all you have to do, and trust me. It'll make your edits like a million times faster if you just roll your fingers like that so another mistake that i see a ton of people do is when they're doing the double pyramid edit or whatever you want to call it is they don't look down so basically what happens is you go to do the edit you and then you get your head stuck right here now so what you guys are going to want to do is right after you edit the first thing the floor you guys are going to want to slowly look down and edit the next thing so you kind of just edit flick down like that just slowly look down and then you should be a lot better and not screwing up as much because this video isn't all about speed either it's about being consistent as i'm not consistent right there but yeah yeah so guys i just went ahead and put it in slow-mo real quick to sh show you guys what i mean so i'll edit and then i'll look down a little bit right there and then i'll go up again i'll look down and then i'll go up right as i edit the first look down Another mistake that I see a lot of people make, and also that I made when I was uh, first learning how to double edit, is that I would never place the pyramid first, especially when I'm doing the pyramid floor edit. That is a big mistake. At least for me, that's what happened. I always screwed up when I was placing the floor first, then the pyramid. It just, I mean, when I do it slow, I can do it, but like, if I'm trying to go fast, like, it's really hard. It just doesn't work. Like, see, I keep, I keep getting like stuck like that. All you have to do to fix this is just place the pyramid first, and it works so much better. Like, you're not going to screw up nearly as much as you do when you place the floor first. It's just so hard to do it like that. Like, I just keep getting stuck. Now, this next step more isn't really on double editing. It's kind of more on just, like, single editing. But, like, this definitely will help improve your edit speed if you do this. So, a lot of mistakes I see most people do is they'll edit way on the outside which is not something you're gonna wanna do. It's gonna slow you down a lot more. You guys are gonna wanna go as close to the inside as possible to make your edit faster because obviously it's gonna take longer to go on the outside like this than it is all the way on the inside. So if I go like that, it's a lot better. Versus this, which takes a lot more time. Now another tip, guys, that I would recommend if you guys are having problems with editing is go over to your settings and change your edit sensitivity now this is a huge one because if you don't have a high head edit sensitivity it's going to be a lot harder to edit especially if you want to do these double edits 
So here's my settings right here. I use a, well, this is for building more, but 2.2 build multiplier and 2.8 edit multiplier. So basically what that means is it takes your uh, normal sensitivity and whatever that is, and it'll just multiply it by a little bit. So my edit sensitivity is 2.8. That is definitely on the higher side. I mean, it's not going to be what's good for everybody, but you know, it works for me and it de definitely helped improve my edit speed. Especially if I'm trying to edit the pyramids the other way there's like two ways you can pretty much do it You can do it like that Or you can do it the other way where you go like this Sorry, this screwed up, but You edit that one and then you edit that one It's gonna be a lot harder to do if you don't have a higher edit sensitivity Now this might not be effective for all the double edits that you're doing but for edits like this, it's not going to matter as much because you're just editing one square. But if you like to do the other pyramid edit where you go like that, it's definitely going to be a lot more effective because you need to flick a lot more with that to pull that edit off. Increasing your edit sensitivity is also going to help more for stuff like this too when you're trying to double edit a floor like this and a ramp. So like if you're going like that, it's going to be a lot easier to do it when you have a higher sensitivity edit sensitivity sorry i cannot speak today to drag across like that because if you have a lower one it's gonna be harder to get all the way across and get the edit that you're looking for so i just do something like this and then just keep doing it till it feels right to you because it's not going to feel good for everybody the 2.8 that i'm at you might find a sensitivity that feels better for you so if you like that one then go with that one but if you like mine it's fine you can go with that one also now you might be wondering why you even need to use these edits. Well, first of all, um, they are definitely pretty fancy looking, especially when you're able to do them fast. And that's kind of why I'm showing you guys how to do them faster. They're also pretty effective in game. So say somebody's on up on you on height, all you guys can do is just do the double pyramid edit and it's going to be harder for them to shoot you because they're going to not know where you are for a split second because you're going to have this pyramid and floor and then it's going to protect you. Or also just if you're cranking 90s and you want to get down because like somebody's shooting you down or something you can do the edit like that and you can just get down quicker or you could just waterfall but that's one of the ways that you can do it or if somebody's building and you get height on them and their ramp is right below you you can cone them and put a floor and then edit like that and then pump them and that's a free shot that's what I do a lot on people and it works really well so that is why I love double edits so much and yeah, as I was saying earlier, guys, you guys don't have to use the double edit vines like how I how I have R1 and to select and L1 to confirm. I would just recommend it because I feel like if you switch to that if and you don't have them already, it'll definitely make you a faster editor than you were before. But if you don't, it's fine because, you know, maybe you're used to the just the single edit vines. Like I used to use circle and I was decent with it, but I definitely thought that I could get faster by using these. So that's why I switched over. But, you know, it's all up to you. I just think, personally, that um, having the double edit binds is definitely going to help you edit faster. But, as I was saying again, you don't need to use them. And, yeah, guys, that's really all the tips and tricks I got for this video on how to double edit faster on controller. So, yeah, that's really it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.